Human Beings and welcome back to another video. If you're new here, my name is Remy and I share lots of vegan recipes and tips to help you live well. And today we're going to be doing a what I eat in a day, but I'm going to be eating like a professional vegan athlete. So I'll be taking on my friend John Rush's diet. He is a professional vegan athlete and I'm going to be doing a little bit of a diet swap. He's going to be eating like I normally would and I'm going to try and take on his diet and his workout today. I thought this would be really fun because it's the perfect example of what I always say, that there isn't just one way to eat a vegan diet. And I love that I'm able to show you something different because I know that a lot of people who are high performing athletes really do worry that they're not gonna be able to sustain that performance on a vegan diet. And I think John is the perfect example. I mean, he is a professional vegan athlete. I am not, but that is exactly why I wanted to show you another example of a thriving vegan. So today we're gonna be eating and training like John. And if you want to check out his video, you can find that link below. I'll link all of his socials. Um, let's see what we're eating today. I've been DMing with John to figure out what I can kind of eat. And I think he's being nice to me because he said when he wakes up, the first thing he does is have a latte. You all know, if you follow me on any other platform like Instagram, TikTok, you've definitely seen me make a matcha latte a million times already. So I'm gonna just speed through the process. Um, nothing special. I actually don't have oat milk right now, so I'm gonna use some leftover vanilla almond milk that I have. And I'm gonna keep it fairly simple because I do wanna get to the gym quickly. The matcha. And then this vanilla almond milk that I have left over, right on top. And ice matcha is definitely a little bit less time consuming because you can just pour everything in. You don't have to froth. I am just so happy that I still get to have a matcha latte. Okay, we are home. I tried to film as much of the workout as I could, but I'm a little out of practice because it's been so long since I've been at a gym like that. It felt so good to be back in the gym with heavy weights again. And I was channeling my inner John, though I guarantee you I was not hitting the same PRs. Nothing tires me out more than a leg day though. So I thought this would be perfect because we're gonna start getting into the food. I saved the protein shake and breakfast for after the workout. So we're gonna do both. We're gonna make a protein shake and we're gonna make some oatmeal. So John said for breakfast, he usually has oatmeal and he'll have steel cut oats. I don't know if I have steel cut, but steel cut oats with berries, flax seeds, peanut butter, hemp seeds, and soy milk. Okay, that sounds really good. So we'll do that. It's simple enough. Oatmeal is great. I haven't had oatmeal in a really long time, actually. Um, don't have hemp seeds right now, but I will substitute with pumpkin seeds. And I have to say, John really does know a lot about nutrition as well. I feel like the way he eats, um, he really makes sure that he has all of his micros and macros covered. So I really appreciate that about his channel. I think he will too. In that sense, we eat very similar food, even though he needs a lot more of it because he's a much more active person than I am. All right, it is oatmeal time. Actually really really hungry so I'm excited about this it looks really good I just have to uh, pace myself because I also have to have a protein shake right after this I definitely think my portion size is a little smaller than John's would be now that I have a little bit of food in my body what I really want to do is change my clothes and take a shower I haven't done that since coming back from the gym yet and then I will see you for my smoothie so hopefully I'll get a little bit of a break in between 
Okay, it's smoothie time. I actually have a bit of an appetite. Surprisingly, I'm not stuffed. I think I went light on the oats and the leg day really did help kick up my appetite. So John said he usually does a protein smoothie, which is frozen berries, soy milk, protein powder, and peanut butter, thinned out with water. No banana. So I think this will actually be just fine. I'm gonna use some frozen raspberries. And these, uh, they became like one chunk. You know when you like forget about your frozen fruit and then it melts and you pop it back in the freezer and it becomes this and for protein powder I'm still using the same one that I really like from Sprout Living a lot of you guys have tried it and really liked it which makes me so happy pro collagen flavor today which has a little bit of like a berry flavor to me it's mostly unflavored but I think it's got something in it goji berry and acerola which to me tastes like berry-ish and um, it says pro collagen but there's no collagen in it. It's just a collagen booster because collagen is not vegan. So soy milk and peanut butter. I don't usually consume this much peanut butter in a day, but I also don't usually eat like a professional vegan athlete. Um, I'm just using this creamy Whole Foods brand peanut butter. It's just literally just peanut butter. I'm only gonna put in like a tablespoon, I think, cause I am feeling like it's gonna be hard for me to finish this if it's like too rich and too dense and we still have to make lunch and dinner. So, um, let's blend. Wow, I think I overestimated myself. I am really full. We've got like one sip left. Okay, breakfast. And post-workout smoothie, done. I don't even wanna think about lunch because I'm so full right now, but let me just tell you what we're making. So John likes to make this chili and he actually has um, the recipe on his website. He has a food blog, so I'll link the recipe down below. But I think he said it's gonna be, yeah, a vegan chili. And um, it's packed with protein, looks very hearty. But it's a one pot recipe. I think I have everything though. I've got onions, carrots, garlic, um, all the seasonings, of course, veggie broth. Ooh, I hope I have diced tomatoes. And then his chili has lentils and beans in it. So it's definitely gonna be pretty, uh, pretty hearty and high protein. And then, oh, I'll just give you a little preview of what dinner is too, because dinner is Beyond Meat Burger and a chickpea salad kind of thing. So I think for that, I'm gonna do a juice press burger. It's very similar. It's actually made from just plants. It's not like uh, soy protein or anything like an Impossible or Beyond Burger but it has that taste and the feeling. I don't know how, it's just really good. And it's similar in protein. I think it's got 20 grams of protein in the patty. I need to ask him though, if he eats that with a bun or he's just thinking like the burger with like a salad. Cause that I can do. I still don't have a huge appetite yet for lunch, but we're gonna make the chili and just have it ready so that when I do have an appetite again, we'll be good to go. But this is the recipe that we're gonna be using. This is from John's blog, Rescue Dog Kitchen. Here we are. I'm honestly just gonna have a little bit because I just, I can't do it right now. Um, let's just give it a quick taste test and then I'll try and do as much as I can with this bowl. Mmm. Mmm. I know I have to eat dinner in a little bit too and I'm already gonna go for a walk to prep myself for dinner. But this is good because it's really keeping me active. And then I gotta tap out. This is the last bath I can do. It is finally time for dinner, and this is what I'm gonna make instead of the Beyond Burger. It's Juice Press's plant burger. You can see it's got 20 grams of protein, um, and it's actually made with veggie ingredients, but it has a little bit of like that impossible meat flavor. I don't know about you, but it looks really realistic to me personally, and I love that it's still veggie based. Don't get me wrong, I love a soy burger every once in a while, but for something more regular, this is it. Beans, I have a confession to make. It's the next day. <laughs> I was so 
full last night. I just, I really just couldn't do it and I knew that I wouldn't enjoy it as much if I did it yesterday. I also look a lot more presentable today so I was going to try to pass it off as if I was filming this all in one day. But in the spirit of being transparent with you all and also the fact that my hair looks very different and much nicer today, I'm just going to tell you, it's the next day. I just needed a breather. You know, I really did it to myself with the smoothie oatmeal combination all at once. It kind of just knocked me out. But we're back and I have my dinner. It is actually dinner time, but daylight savings happen and so it's a lot brighter now. I'm a very early dinner eater, which I think you probably know if you've been following me for a while. So it's like 5 p.m. right now and the sun is shining. I'm loving for it. And dinner is a salad with a high protein vegan burger. Then I've got a salad. John mentioned a chickpea salad. I just honestly don't know if I'm ready for that. You have to understand I came off of um, losing my appetite for about two weeks and it's been a rough month or so of just like trying to find a normal appetite again. However, I will get a bun for this burger because I have this amazing gluten-free bagel so I was kind of thinking this could be my bun because I don't have any gluten-free buns with me right now. Um, We'll see how my appetite goes. I just don't want a food coma like last night. So let's dig in. I really like these burgers though. They're so good. Mm. I don't know what it is. I'm obsessed with this burger. If you live in New York, you've got to try it. Let me know what you think because I, I really like it. Mm. All right, beans. I'm just finishing up this tomato for my salad. But that is basically everything that I'm going to eat today. If I'm being super honest, yesterday I was just like stuffed. I felt... <laughs> genuinely like I was gonna be in a food coma and it was pretty rough but overall I hope this not only shows you that there are so many different ways to eat a vegan diet but also that what an individual needs is gonna vary person to person and I feel like I say this all the time it's like a disclaimer that I love to throw into all of my what I eat in a day videos that none of these videos are meant to be a diet plan or a meal plan for anyone else so many factors come into play like your activity level your physical size your height your goals i mean you could eat the exact same thing as someone down to the calories and still see a different effect on your body tomato break mm. this is not a great tomato I also hope this inspires anyone out there who is a professional athlete or someone who's very active or, or even anyone who still believes in the idea that veganism is only for women or that a vegan diet makes you weak and skinny, you know, and I think we're all aware at this point, but if you're still not convinced, check out John's channel. I'm going to link it in the description below and you can check out his video. I'll link the chili recipe as well and overall everything was so delicious. I'm so, so happy that John got me back into oatmeal. Okay, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Let me know if you want to see more videos like this in the future, more collabs. Leave some comments below if there's anyone in particular you'd like to see me collaborate with. It doesn't necessarily need to be someone vegan. Obviously, we'll make a vegan video of some kind, but let me know in the comments below and make sure you subscribe and hit the little bell button so that you know when I upload my next video. Try to get more regular and back onto my schedule after what feels like a month of just mess in my life but we are making it back appetites coming back routines coming back we're getting there thank you so much for the love and light as always and i will see you in another video soon bye let her know i gotta let her know that she my white horse she my medical she like my baby mom